Hello, welcome to the second of my vlogs. Today I'm going to be looking at the DNA of a customer experience. What are the things that the components that we should be caring about in terms of delivering great customer experience to our customers? Of course, that customer experience can be through B2B, which is business to business, or B2C, business to consumer. And our experience and expectations of that experience can be very different depending on, on which method we're dealing with. There's certainly lots of definitions of customer experience. Um, you would only have to, to Google it and you'll see that everybody has their own different opinion. But I'm more interested not necessarily in the definition, but in terms of the, the, the things that constitute what makes a good customer experience. So let's look first of all at the B2C market. As consumers, we're driven by emotional needs and logical needs. Every time we have an interaction with a, an organization, that's a moment of truth on which those, um, that brand perception we have of them is either created or reinforced. So let's look at the emotional side. In terms of our emotional needs, we have an expectation of what's expected from that interaction. We also want to be made to feel pleasurable. We want to have a pleasant experience. We want to be made to feel important, but also we'll have some values. It could be, for example, that we're environmentally conscious and, uh, and uh, or on the other hand, we might like a, a disruptor. And those values that we hold, we want to see reinforced within a brand. And all of those things can create or reinforce that brand perception. On the logical side, we've got logical needs. We want something to be efficient. We want something that's of quality. We want, and whether that's a, a, a service or an actual product, we want that the price might be important to us. The usability of something might be important. So overall, what we want is a logical decision that's reinforced at that moment of truth. But overall, we want efficiency. And all of those things are going to be driving our brand perception. So that's the, the, um, the input, I guess, into the, the things that we will want from that customer experience. So how can a brand respond? Trust is the operative word. A brand needs to be trusted. It needs to be trusted to deliver on its promises. It needs to be trusted with its brand values. It needs to be trusted in terms of quality, price, usability. If it can deliver on these things, it will meet both a buyer's emotional and logical needs. And these, I believe, are the, the DNA of a successful customer experience. But it doesn't need to be just satisfactory. It needs to be, to create that brand advocacy, it really needs to exceed our expectations and delight us. That way we then become those brand advocates, going out telling other people how fantastic the experience was. And that way, it's better than any marketing spend you could wish to come up for, in that we become, as consumers, we become your marketing department. We're the ones going out there telling everybody how great it is. So what can organisations do to improve that customer experience? Well, I always suggest it's around people, process and technology. People, they can empower people. They can make people more customer focused. They can hire people and retain people incentivize people based on customer centric values. In terms of technology, there's so many technological change that can underpin a transformation towards becoming customer centric. It's, I could go on and on, but that, that's for other vlogs. And in terms of processes, design the process from the outside in, not from the inside out. Uh, customer journey mapping and design thinking are great, uh, great ways of getting started on this journey to becoming customer centric. These are just my own thoughts. I hope you just are able to take something from this and you're able to make a difference to customers around the world. Uh, or if you're a customer, you're able to help influence a brand to becoming the best brand it can be. Anyway, thanks for listening.